home for Christmas. Now, that's where we all want to be. Home is where we are known. Home is where we are loved. God wanted so much to be with us, to make his home with us, that he chose to walk in our very midst. The word Christ, the Messiah, became flesh and bone, just like us, and made his dwelling among us. And from that astounding moment, when the first Noel rang out, God has been with us, saying to us, forever I will be with you. song is timeless. The song is eternal. And while the arches of heaven resounded with the song, earth remained dark, lonely, and silent. But then the image of the invisible God, the, the firstborn over all creation, the word made flesh, invaded the very earth he created. And a new song was born. It was a song of salvation. It was a song of redemption. It was a song so compelling that all of creation joined in the singing. And still today, the song continues. Before the song started, the world broken hearted was dreaming. Into the night, it's 
resulted in a song of cosmic proportions, in reality, began quietly, almost imperceptibly, a weary couple, an exhausting search for shelter, and a manger bed for a child who appeared to enter the world in an ordinary way. No lofty proclamations, no celestial pronouncement, and no universal procession. At least, not yet.
the silence and solitude were not to last long. True to his nature, God surrounded a mighty act with a noble and spectacular declaration. A Savior, Christ the Lord, the long-awaited Messiah, had been born. And suddenly, there started a frightened shepherds were given a front row seat to a panoramic display of God's artistry. A sky full of angels pierced the midnight darkness with a mesmerizing call to worship. Glory to God in the highest and peace, goodwill toward men. Is it that would compel you to leave your home in search of something you've never really seen before? Some greater cause? Maybe some brighter vision? There were some wise men, magi in a distant country, who noticed a magnificent star drawing them from their home in the east. And so, being familiar with both the signs of the scripture, they embarked upon the quest of a lifetime, following that star. They were in search of a king, the Savior, who was now made his home with man.
this year's family gathering at Christmas may be marked by the reality that a loved one is not with us. Perhaps time or distance just won't allow them to be present. But God is with us. Or it could be that for the first time there's uh, maybe an empty chair at the dinner table because God's called them, called them home. Home for Christmas. Remember this. The one who said, I will never leave or forsake you, really will never leave or forsake us. The one who said, I am with you always, really is with us always. Emmanuel, God with us, not just for the season, but for every day. God is with us and all is well. Lonely friend, God is with you. Discouraged loved one, God is with us. Forsaking the riches of heaven for the poverty of earth, Jesus, Emmanuel, chose not only to make his home with us, but is coming again for us. This is the good news of Christmas. Our final dwelling place will be with him at home in his presence our song today our song for eternity forever god is with us <laughs> 